The point of having Mueller, he says, I won't go beyond the report. But as we both know, most people haven't read the report. And what he said in his press conference was so powerful, it wasn't new if you read the report, but it matters to hear it from him. Is that your interest? Well, our interest is to, for the American people to hear it from him. Uh, there's been a campaign of misrepresentation by Attorney General Barr, who, mes who misrepresented what was in the report by the president, who keeps saying uh, the report found no collusion, no obstruction. That's not true either way. So it's important the American people hear from him what the report found. It's important that he answer a lot of specific questions. Uh, I think one of the questions that isn't specifically in the report will be, uh, you wrote a letter, Mr. Mueller, to, uh, to the special, to the attorney general saying that he had in ways misrepresented the report. How so? Um, but I think it's important the American people hear from him uh, what he did find and what he didn't find. How worried are you that he wants to do this so little that he's going to be non-responsive when he gets before you? I think he'll answer the questions, and it's up to us to ask questions that'll, that'll, that'll uh, elicit the information. And remember, he did a two-year investigation. He found that the Russians attacked our election. He found that the, there were plenty of, I think, 170 contacts between the Russians and the people in the Trump campaign. He found that the Trump campaign welcomed uh, the intervention of the, of the Russians and the assistance of the Russians. Uh, he found uh, uh, plenty of obstruction of justice in the president trying to obstruct his investigation. And all of that uh, has, to, uh, has to be uh, stated publicly. One more quick thing, because I think that buzzer means that you have to go back in. But let me ask you, yes. are you worried about the White House blocking Mueller or the DOJ blocking Mueller or content? No, I'm not, I'm not really worried about that, because uh, Mueller is an honest, uh, upstanding uh, citizen, and he'll, he will uh, testify in response to, a su to the subpoena that we issued. Uh, he's not going to let the, the White House or anybody else tell him to defy a lawful congressional subpoena. And they don't have any right of privilege. He didn't work for them. And does the attorney general have any right, even though Mueller is no longer an employee? No, he has no right whatsoever. I mean, the administration has claimed, with respect to Hope Picks and McGahn and some other people, absolute immunity, which is nonsense as a matter of law. And we're going to prove that in we're going to show that in court. <clears throat> but no, there is no right to defy a congressional subpoena. Uh, the White House might assert some privilege, but when they uh, uh, revealed this, a lot of the information to Mueller and even to private attorneys, they waived the privilege. So uh, I think he'll answer the questions that are put to him because it's his civic duty to do so, and he's an upstanding uh, prosecutor.